in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Rejoice in the Lord. After two and a half months of staying in the house, he left the church on March 19, after celebrating the Holy Mass of St. Joseph's Day. And now we are here after that, two and a half months of uncertainty. It's a time to rejoice. Our Lord protected each one of us. We have received so many blessings in this time. Though we were looking when the regular Mass is going to start. And this happened. For, for this blessing, to calling us together to celebrate and to participate with our community in the Holy Mass. Now, as a preparation for this Holy Mass, let us take a moment in silence. Call to mind the sins we committed. With repentance, say, Our oh Lord, I am sorry for all the sins I committed. Through a silent confession. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us to give our sins and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at word prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. Now our prayer is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shame. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. Our help is from, from the Lord, who may make heaven and earth. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard your coming and your going, both now and forever. Our help is from the Lord. The Lord be with you. And your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain. And after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be sure mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will be pleasing God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted. For the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when you, they insult you and persecute you, and utter every kind of evil against you falsely. Because of me, rejoice and be glad. For your reward will be great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, this is a very we think really for today to be opening of our corona, the coronavirus shutdown. The gospel passage we heard is taken from St. Matthew's chapter 5. This part we know is this, known as the gospel in the gospel. 
in other words, it is the concentrated memory. The heart to heart relationship with his disciples without and without heavenly father. This is the summary of that. And in this passage, teaching from the mountain, our Lord taught his disciples his own inner circle followers. What it means? What is the purpose of life? And what will be in future? The Beatitude. In the original word for this is taken from Greek. And the original word is that Makarios. Makarios means means blessedness, the joy, the happiness. All this comes together. But it is more than happiness. Happiness comes through by chances. If something good happen, it will be a happy moment for us. And it will make us to celebrate and give us joy because it is totally dependent on the chances. But the Beatitude tells us it is more than chances. It is the blessedness. That means nobody can take it away from you. It will be with you forever. The pain, the sorrow, the tears came all down from your eyes. At the end, you will feel the joy. And that joy is ours. It is personal. Nobody can take it away from you. And those who do all these things, they get this joy that is called the blessedness. And that will be with you forever. And nobody else can steal it away from you. Or nobody can borrow it from, away from you. Nobody can take it away from you. It will be with you. And that is called the summary of followers or Christianity. The joy with the blessedness, that is the Makarios, that is personal. And nobody will take it away and it will be with you. And that is what our Lord tells us today. The joy you have now after two and a half months of uncertainty, coming back with the house of the Lord, with the joy we are celebrating the Holy Man. It's a time to, as I told, it's a time to rejoice. And it's a time to thank God for calling us together to participate and celebrate. Remember in our prayer, those who will die, those who were born before us due to this coronavirus. And pray for the people who are the first responders of the patients of coronavirus, the doctors, the nurses, the caregivers, the workers, the health workers. So many people are involved by risking their own life. Remember that also in our prayers. And that, when we pray, the joy we get, that will be ours. May that joy remain in us forever.
church be praying. Blessed are you, Lord God, of your creation, for your goodness, we are with the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, for the given hands, and we be the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of By the mystery of this water and wine, we may come to share the divinity of Christ, who is the to share the of man. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for your goodness. We house the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine, for the human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Watch the Lord of many to deliverance me from my sins. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable, God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you, and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give it thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, His death, we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with the living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without the end we are playing. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, and heaven and earth are full of your glory. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fourth of our fortunes. Make holy, therefore, these gifts if we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the reward, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and then they had willingly to his passion. He took bread and he gave it that. Broke it and gave it his disciples to say, Take this, all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the child, and once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the child of my flesh, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured up for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. In memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim the death of the Lord and the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy the to be the persons and ministers to you. Humbly we pray that for the of the body of Christ, we may be gathered on by the Holy Spirit. Reign of the Lord, our church, for the world and victory of the fullness of charity. Together the hands of the Pope, God, Sir, Bishop, and all the clergy. Lord, we offer this holy mass for Adela Martinez with the special intention, prosper and be with the heart. Reign of our Lord, our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and of our heart in our mercy. Welcome them into the light of our faith. How mercy on us are we, friend, that the blessed wedding Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, our spouse, and with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have peace throughout the ages, be remembered to be God's eternal life, and I praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come. Our Lord, as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Then you are, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sensation from distress, as we have been blessed upon the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your resurrection now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who is the most of the peace I leave you, my peace I leave you, who so from on our sins, but on the face of our church, and the gracious link that their peace, and unity in the court of the will, who will live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. To offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Amen. 
40. Let us pray. <coughs> May your healing work, O Lord, free us, be free from doing evil, and lead us to what is right. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to proclaim the good news through your life. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Let us rejoice. Amen. Thank you. Your key. Yes. Yeah.